British television moves one step closer to its high-definition future today with the launch of Sky's HD TV service. Up to 10% of homes will have HD ready sets by the end of the year, lured by promises of picture quality four times better than that of regular television. But critics say HD TV is expensive, impractical and clouded in confusion. High definition pictures are not yet available on Freeview. If you want HD content on your HD telly, you have only two choices. Sky launches today, but you'll need a special Sky box, and there's a shortage of those. When you find one, it'll set you back £300 and another £10 every month at least in subscription charges. TeleWest is free to install and costs up to £15 a month, but is only available to about 20% of British households. Well, to find out whether it's all worth it, we decided we needed an idiot's guide. So we sent our own Alex Thompson to find out. So is high definition actually the future? Well, there's no doubt. If you're going to watch something like the World Cup, the difference is extraordinary. You'll feel quite like you're there. But it's very expensive. A lot of your equipment won't even work and won't be compatible with these new televisions. And hardly anybody's actually broadcasting on high definition anyway. So do we really need it? Let's talk to a TV salesman. Hamish Thompson, convince me. HDTV is the future? Well, we think it is the future, but it's also about now as well. I mean, for the World Cup, if you're lucky enough to get HD, um, if you think back to the 1960s, the, the pictures were, were pretty poor, but now the only fuzz that you'll get is the designer's stubble on the footballer's chin. I mean, it really is that level of clarity. £7,000? £7,000 a set? No, it's not that at all. I mean, you can buy an HD-ready television for around about £500. Um, getting, getting hold of an HD subscription is a little bit challenging at the moment, but we're thinking about the longer game here. We're thinking about the, the digital switchover, which is looming between 2008 and 2012. By the time 2010 comes around, the next World Cup, most people, we think, will have HD TV. Right. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you, Hamish? You are a TV salesman. Come and meet somebody who's perhaps a little bit more sceptical, loves the technology, loves the quality. Not sure about feeling the width, as it were. Um, Nate Elliott, you're an analyst in terms of the TV market. What's the problem? You love the quality. Yeah, it's, it's amazing picture quality. The, the problem right now is making sure that we're selling it to consumers in the right way. Less than one quarter of European consumers have actually have heard the term HD TV, and many fewer say they'd be willing to pay for high definition TV. And so you have to make sure you're selling it in the right way, and I have some concerns about whether we're doing that. The other problem, of course, Nate, is only two companies are actually broadcasting. Hamish, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. You're doing a good job selling these things, no doubt, but you haven't got the market back up. Well, it is early days, but we've got the BBC who are launching HD trials this year. But we're also thinking about the other dimensions of this as well. The television is now all about gaming, high-definition gaming. But it's also about the forthcoming HD DVD formats. So you'll be able to get masses of use out of your television as, as, as the year goes on. Right, we're told, mate, the take-up is around 10%. How do you push it upwards? I mean, you like it technologically, but how do you get it to be a successful thing in the marketplace? What do we need to change? Well, first and foremost, I think you need to show people the right, uh, the right picture and show them what they're looking at. When, when a consumer sees HD content, it's amazing to look at. And one of the problems right now is that not enough of the HD TVs in stores are actually showing HD content. I walked into a shop at the other end of Oxford Street yesterday, and out of 22 HD TVs on the floor, 21 of them were showing standard definition or regular content. Only one was showing that high quality HD picture. We have to fix that. Right, indeed. There's no point in selling apples and showing melons. What else? Uh, well, more content needs to become available as well, and that's something that is happening slowly from Sky and Tally West and some of the others. And slowly we're starting to get that other content as well from video games and also from DVDs. So it'll take some time to build up that library of content, but once that library of content is there, if we're showing people the right pictures in the stores and giving them the right information in the shops, then there should be nothing to stop it. So we are on our way, Hamish, and people will buy this. They will buy it, and one of the benefits of showing both formats is that you can compare and contrast. If you see HD, you want it. Uh, and obviously, being on regular TV, we can't show you the difference between regular TV and high definition. You'll have to wait a while before News at Noon goes HD. But we'll get there one day.